Hello my friends, I'm Frank here and welcome to Club Foodie. At home, we eat all kinds of proteins, but it seems that chicken is the one that we have most often. It's versatile and there's a vast repertoire of recipes out there. I love diversity and I have dozens and dozens of recipes to choose from, like this one. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my chicken sorrentino. It's simply a delicious meal. With chicken breast topped with prosciutto, followed by a slice of eggplant, then a scoop of marinara sauce and cheese sprinkled on top, this is a flavorful dish to enjoy any time. So my friends, let's get cooking. We'll go ahead and look after the eggplant. After removing and discarding the top and the bottom, we'll slice it lengthwise to about one quarter inch thick. Something similar to this. Before transferring them to a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. I have extra slices that I'll be using for other recipes, like a nice frittata. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> Next, we'll brush on some olive oil just enough to cover the top ones. Not too much, okay? We'll now season with some garlic salt, ground sea salt, and freshly ground black pepper. We'll transfer to a 400 degree preheated oven and bake for 20 minutes. Halfway through cooking, we'll flip them and return to the oven for the remaining time. Meanwhile, we'll prep the chicken. Depending on how big their breasts are, we might have to cut them in half, which in most cases, that's what will happen. Then we'll place a piece of plastic wrap on top and using a meat mallet, we'll pound it down evenly to about half an inch thick. The shape doesn't have to be perfect, and you'll see why later on. Back to our eggplant slices. When time is up, We'll remove them from the heat and set them aside while we continue with our recipe. In a shallow dish, we'll add flour, then Italian seasoning, which you can make from scratch by clicking on the top right corner of your screen, followed by garlic salt and freshly ground black pepper. We'll stir until everything is well blended. Now, working with one at a time, We'll dredge the pounded chicken breast, making sure both sides are well coated with the flour mixture. Shake it to remove any excess flour and place it on a plate while doing the others. Next, in a large skillet over medium-high heat, we'll add oil. And when it starts shimmering, we'll place our chicken breasts and cook for 3 minutes per side or until golden. Let's not crowd the pan, all right? When they're done, we'll transfer them to a plate while cooking the other pieces. Now that the chicken is cooked, we'll make a quick sauce. In the same skillet, we'll add onions. There should be enough oil remaining in the pan. And reduce the heat to medium. We'll saute them for one minute before adding the pressed garlic. And this time, we'll saute it for only 30 seconds. If we cook longer, it will burn, and burnt garlic tastes horrible. Then we'll add some red pepper flakes and saute quickly for just 15 seconds. We simply want to wake up the flavor and bring some intensity. Next, we'll pour in a quarter cup of Marcella wine, and there are two reasons why. To deglaze the pan, which in my case is not relevant, and secondly, because I like to cook with wine and drink some too. That's all. We'll stir to coat and then add our marinara sauce. I normally use my own recipe, but I ran out last week, so the next best thing is to buy a good quality one from the store. Yep, I can be lazy from time to time. To this, we'll add a couple pinches of raw sugar, especially when using commercial sauce. 
Perhaps they use old tomatoes who lost their sweetness. That we don't know. We'll stir well and let it simmer for five minutes. If the sauce bubbles too much, reduce to medium low. Time to assemble the chicken sorrentino. In a 9 by 13 baking dish, we'll spoon in a couple ladles of sauce, enough so it just covers the bottom of it. Then we'll place the chicken pieces in the dish before covering them with thin slices of prosciutto. I always buy a package at the store that gives me about 9 to 10 thin slices. So after I put one on top of each, I tear the remaining ones and place it on the meat as well. More of it gives more flavor. We'll now place the eggplant over the meat, followed by a thin layer of our sauce, spreading it evenly on the eggplant. Then comes the cheese. The kind I'm using is Fontina because I find it complements the eggplant perfectly with its nutty tone. We'll make sure to cover the entire surface before transferring the dish to a 400 degree preheated oven. We'll bake for 10 minutes or until the cheese is melted. We'll remove from the heat, sprinkle on some fresh chopped parsley, and serve immediately. And my friends, this is our chicken sorrentino. The combination is so interesting, and if you like all the ingredients in this recipe, you'll love it. Colorful, easy to make, and definitely tasty, this is a dish to enjoy any time. It's also elegant enough to serve at your next dinner party. I hope you give it a try soon, and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit! Thank you.